All right, so here we are at the first temple. Uh, I kind of already cleared through it, but my previous footage got corrupted, so I'm just going to do a quick run through it. Before we go in there, I didn't know that you could break these. I saw other players break them. Um, it looks like you need a heavy metal object, kind of like the axe. And when you break these things open, you can get um, apples and arrows, which were, were kind of hard for me to find. <clears throat> All right, so we're in the first temple. This is just going to be a quick uh, run through. This one's really, really easy. When you come in, you want to go directly to the left and put your uh, Sheikah tablet down so you can get the get the power up. So I already have the power up for this temple, so I'm just going to go ahead and we'll just uh, go through the level. So for this one, you just want to move the block out the way, but the block can actually move all the other blocks, so you don't have to kind of climb over stuff. There's going to be an enemy right uh, over this wall. So what I did, I was I was kind of real timid and, sh and scared, so what I did was I kind of just lifted this block up and down and I kind of just pushed him off or hit him with it. He took enough damage and then he died, but you can you can just fight him with whatever you have. So for this space, just go ahead and pick that metal metal bridge up and just swap it over. All right, and then I saw a couple people miss this directly to the left on the top. Yep, you see this chest right here. Just bring that guy over. I don't remember what was in it. Um, I think it was a bow. But make sure you get that before you head over. And then just slide these doors open. There's no boss or anything, so. And then once you go in there, you can speak to your little uh, spooky friend on the pedestal, and then you'll get your your first orb. All right, so this is gonna be the second shrine. Go ahead and uh, pull up on the map where this thing is. So it's kind of southeast from the Great Plateau Tower. So this kind of gives you a general idea, so you don't have to s scour the lands looking for it. Uh, on your way in here, there's a, a wall that you can't get into. If you have the bomb arrows, you can open it up. Um, but you usually get those through exploring, but you're going to get an item in here that'll help you out. Alright, this is the, uh, what I call the second temple, because um, I'm going to explain the order as to why I did this one second. So this is the bomb trial, so you're going to get a little, another power up here, you're going to get the, you're going to get one that <laughs> that's bombs. Bombs come in two shapes. I normally just keep the square one because I don't like my shit to move. Um, but I mean, it's really it's player preference. So, but there's gonna be puzzles that are gonna involve you needing both both shapes of the bombs. So later on in this little, I guess what is it, like a mini dungeon? All right. So you see that it's got a cooldown effect. So to the left is blocked, and then to the right is gonna be it's gonna be blocked as well. Go ahead and break this wall, and there'll be a chest there. And inside the chest, you will get a Traveler's Claymore. Alright, so this one uh, is not too difficult. Uh, what I did was I just kind of waited it for, you know, for it to go halfway and then I just chucked that guy over like that. There are no enemies within uh, this trial either, so you can rest assured and explore freely. So 
So with these things, they're the little puzzle, mini puzzles. They're actually pretty, pretty simple. Um, they don't hurt you or anything. So to get over to that chest, just hop on on this guy. Just let him uh, shoot you right over. And get some treasure. And amber. All right, so this is where you need to change the shape. Um, kind of just change it into the ball shape. Let it roll on in there. It'll push it over. Shoot that guy. And then you can do this twice, or you could just climb the ladder and just blow him up. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever you want to do. And then this concludes the end of this trial because there's nothing else after this once you get your orb. Alright, so this little spot right here, I put a pot. You want to go to this spot first, so it's kind of uh, relatively close to the Jabe Shrine, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So um, I like to start off here and then work my way all the way to that pot. So this site, um, you'll find the old man here, as long with a bunch of uh, resources, food items, and stuff like that. Um, he should be sitting right here next to the pot. You can talk to him. And he'll ask you a question like, what did you make? Um, if you go to this diary, there's a diary on the table right there. You want to read this diary because it's going to give you hints as to what you need to make to get the next tunic or the shirt that I'm wearing so you can survive cold weather. That bed right there is where he'll be if it's nighttime. Um, there'll be more items in here. Um, you'll have to make a dish and give it to him uh, once you make it. So you're going to need um, chili peppers or hot peppers, uh, any piece of meat, and then you're going to need a, a, a fish. You want to combine all three of those, and you want to cook them in the fryer or the little pot right there. Once you do all that, then you'll get the, you know, the clothing so that you can proceed to the next two trials. The reason why you need the tunic or the, the garb for the next two trials is because the next two trials lie um, in relatively cold areas. And unless you have proper items, you won't be able to last very long here. So I've already, um, so you can see the... Uh, the little, the little house down there. So if you just climb the mountain that's right near the house, you can get to this one right here, as well as the other one. All right, this is the stasis trial. Same old song and dance. Go ahead and put your Sheikah slate there. Mess with this gear. It is timed, so um, it kind of gives you uh, little ticks so that you can know when it's about to run out. And there are no enemies within this trial. However, there are these little, not really booby traps, but obstacles. So you want to go ahead and stop this first one. Run up midway. And then once it passes again, go ahead and run back up there to grab that chest. And this should be a shield. There you go, traveler shield. All right, head back down. And there's going to be a big ass hammer right here. Go ahead and take that because it has some really good damage. So this, once you um, use your, your ability on it, go ahead and hit it a couple times, and when the time runs out, um, whatever force you put into it will push it back. And then go up to your friend right there, and then that ends this trial. Now the next one is all the way right here. That little, The same path you took to get to the last trial, take the same path and you'll get there. Uh, like I said, I've already been to the past, but for the sake of saving time in this video, um, I kind of just went there just to register it, and then I, I run there, or um, just teleport there. So this place is uh, really, really pretty cool, really cold. This is why you need the garb to go here. Alright, Cryonis Trail. Go ahead and grab your, your new ability. All right, so you want to go ahead and use your ability right underneath you, right on top of you, so it can project you full, uh, upwards. If you use the ability again, you can shatter whatever you built. This one's pretty easy. Just use the same ability to hoist the bridge or the gate. Now there's an enemy to the left. Pretty easy guy, just dispose of him. Now right here, there's a chest up there. 
Just use your ability to get to it. And I believe this one is a spear. The same one that I have equipped. Alright. Go ahead and... Uh, you can pick either side that you want to hoist up. Um, I just chose the left. last one so you just go up talk to your buddy and that's it and once you get the last orb the old man will contact you and he's gonna say a uh, cool good job uh, he comes gliding in and he's gonna ask you to meet him at a point where all four of the trials intersect to save you a lot of time or minimum effort the place that you want to go is the um, the temple of time which was uh, near where you spawn at the very beginning of the game So here you are, Temple of Time. So what you want to do is you want to head straight forward. I got distracted by this pot because I thought it was something else. And you want to pray at the goddess statue. Now what happens here is that the, the game, this is where it gets interesting. The goddess will ask you in exchange for four of your orbs that you worked so hard to get, she can bestow great power upon you. Now this great power is either a heart container or a stamina vessel. Uh, for me, I kind of like to do one thing, one heart container first and then one stamina after the other. For now, I just picked heart container because you have things that can give you stamina, like <clears throat> some of the foods you can make. The old man will, will contact you again and he's on the roof this time. Just head to the back and climb up the cathedral and you can reach him. Once you reach him up here, a cutscene will trigger, but I'm skipping that. And finally, you'll get your uh, you'll well get your done, glider. Young one. And this is pretty much the that's it, guys. That's that's the quest. So uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, let me know. Thumbs up, comment. Um, I'll be posting more of these. So uh, to keep uh, keep keep updated, just uh, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, uh, I'll see you guys later.